If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we have some LTDs. We have the entire Harvest promo release to reveal. We have some stuff to talk about with Bo as well as, guys, some Redux. So, pretty exciting day. Before we get into the video, because we do have a lot of stuff to go over, so I do want to get into this quickly, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up, guys. And, of course, if you do want to check out Underdog Fantasy, who I did recently partner with, and start entering some daily fantasy lines as well as some player props, make sure to head on down below, guys. My linking code will get you guys up to a free $100 in your first deposit. So, pretty much some free money to go ahead and play with. If you guys know what you're doing, it's great, because that free money does give you a chance to just play around and learn the system, and potentially even win money with their money, right? Nothing's better than that. So yeah, check that out, guys. My code will help you guys out a lot, as well as my coin sponsor down below if you guys do need some coins. But let's get into this. So LTD, Evan Ingram, a fellow Giant. Guys, Giants team seems looking a little bit better today. 95 overall, Evan Ingram. 92 speed. I wish that speed was slightly higher. He's really fast, but you know, 95 overall, and it's Evan Ingram. 70 strength, 92 catching, 88 catching traffic, 94 spec, 90 short, 86 medium, 77 route, uh, run blocking. Here's my concern, right? I mean, I feel like this card looks more like a 92 overall Evan Ingram. I'm not sure how a powered up 96 Evan Ingram will have no stat above 95. You know, like, if he's 96, his highest stat will be a 95 spec. It doesn't really make sense to me, but he's still good speed-wise, and a giant steam team will be really good. Uh, but maybe double receiving cards with medium route running, which I don't even think, I don't even know if they stack like that. I mean, maybe you can get him up to the 90 route running. But he's still, he's still pretty good. I mean, he will get 93 speed. He'll get above the 90 short route running. But I wish he was a little bit higher on some other stuff. Maybe his deep route running is pretty good. We just can't see it. Next, we got Matthew Judon, who was a big issue on Twitter yesterday, not knowing who was who. So that's pretty interesting that it actually was Matthew Judon. 87 speed, 91 excel, 91 strength, 95 tackle, 93 play rec, 91 block shed, 95 power move, 85 finesse move. It's actually a really good card. He's going to be an elite power rusher. An elite run stuffer, an elite tackler, an elite play recognition guy with 88 speed and 92 excel. This card's actually really good. And I believe he does play on Ravens and Pats theme teams. I'm not sure what else. All right, guys. So for the Redux cards, we have Rodney Hudson, Marcus May, Tyler Lockett, Deion Jones, Justin Herbert, Byron Jones, Cameron Hayward, Tom Brady, Will Fuller, Vernon Butler Jr., Joe Thomas, Ted Hendricks, Michael Vick, Charles Woodson, Andre Johnson, Ronnie Lott, JJ Watt, and Travis Kelsey. So if you guys did want any of these cards when they were LTDs, know that they will be a lot cheaper and a lot more easily accessible when they become Redux cards tomorrow. We got Joe Thomas. Just a few screenshots here. Uh, Redux. We have Cameron Hayward Redux. Deion Jones Redux. We got Tyler Lockett. Remember, guys, it doesn't actually change any stats. Just makes them more... Um, they, they're able to be pulled in packs again. Vernon Butler and a bit of Wolf Fuller. I kind of had the mix there. That's great. Uh, Michael Vick. We have Byron Jones. And now let's get into the Harvest stuff. We got Raekwon Davis. Low defensive tackle. No power move. No block shit. No speed. Kind of garbage. Low card, though. Jonathan Bullard. Um, decent block shit. Decent finesse move. I mean, power move low speed i mean really no use tyler conklin no speed decent catching not a great blocker matt amendola kicker for the jets 86 kick power nothing special michael carter running back for the jets now he does get 90 speed powered up he'll get 90 change of direction on a jet team team maybe as like the second or third option i guess it could be a little fun puna ford no power move barely any block shed no speed not gonna be great brian burns now the fact that they gave brian burns such a low card kind of sucks he could be a very elite card if they gave him a top card um not enough finesse move not enough speed not gonna be usable ernest jones 87 speed 80 excel 84 hit power 84 block shed on a ramp steam team maybe as the third or fourth middle linebacker option could be something there juju smith schuster no route running really no catching low speed not great Matt Skura, why do the giants always get giants arguably are the worst on their own line and we consistently keep getting offensive linemen as the guys I don't get it. Uh, he's actually pretty good, though. For an 88 overall, he acts all high 80 tier stats. Not bad. Bradley Roby, cornerback for the Texans. And he does also get Broncos team team. We'll get a 90 speed. We'll get all high 80 coverage. Not great. Jason Peters, left tackle. All mid high 80s blocking. 90 strength. Bears team team. And I believe Eagles. So decent. Kelvin Beecham Jr. Now, this guy actually is all low, low 90s, high 80 coverage. I mean, uh, blocking. With good strength, good awareness, not bad in a Cardinal Steam team. Rashawn Evans, 88 speed, 92 hit power, 90 block shedding. On a Titans team team, he's gonna be an elite run stuffer as well as a pretty good linebacker. Micah Parsons. Now they did they they okay. Let's compare two linebackers here, right? Rashawn Evans, Micah Parsons. Micah Parsons is faster, but Rashawn Evans can't block. I mean, Rashawn Evans can block shed, have hit power. Micah Parsons has no block shed. He has barely any strength in comparison. He has bad play rec, really. He has no finesse move or power move. He was like a jack of all trades guy that kind of just completely killed. 
Elijah Vera Tucker. Now, this is where I get excited, guys. Some of these 92s are really good. I will be ranking these for you guys for the free 92s tomorrow, so definitely stay tuned for that tomorrow. But Elijah Vera Tucker, all going to be all 90, an all 90 pass blocker at left guard. Really good option to take free. Cameron Jordan, he gets 80 speed, 88 excel, 88 strength, gets 92 tackle, 92 play rec, 92 blocks, and 93 power move. Powered up and with stat strat cards, guys, and I mean, elite power move rusher and an elite block shed guy with decent speed for free as well. Mark Andrews, I did mess up his stats a little bit here as I was converting over to this guy, but you can still get an idea. Gonna get 89 speed with AK okay, powered up with the strat card. If he gets the medium route running up to 90, he's gonna be a really good tight end. He'll get above 90 catching all around, above 90 route running all around. He also gets 87 run block and 90 speed. He's gonna be one of the better tight ends in the game, actually. He's not bad at all. Debo Samuel. For the Niners, now, I, they did mess up his route running. This car will not be that usable for that reason. Uh, he's going to be really good. I imagine after the catch, probably has some crazy stiff arm and some, like, crazy spin and juke. But nonetheless, guys, not a great card. Denzel Ward, 92 speed, 93 excel, 91 agility, 92 jumping, 87 play rec, 92 man, 97, 91 press. All threshold coverage guy for the most part with 93 speed, 94 excel, decent height, guys. Denzel Ward, another really good option here. Then we got Justin Simmons, another good option. He gets 93 speed, powered up with 92 Excel, 84 tackle, 92 play rack, 93 pursuit, 84 man, he'll get 92 zone. His empowered man are a little bit low, but remember, this is a free card. You're going to get a, I'm pretty sure he's pretty tall, a decently tall, above 90 zone, 93 speed zone guy. Not a bad option. For one of the heroes tomorrow, not all of them, just, they just, they just peak, sneak peek to one. We got Khalil Mack, 94. He'll be an 89 speed, 88 Excel, 88 strength, 94 tackle, 93 play rack, 94 block shed, 94 power move, and 90 one fin uh, he'll get 91 finesse with powered up so powered up is strength speed gets to 90 excel gets to 88 uh, 89 and strength gets to 89 but he's all threshold everywhere and his speed's really good guys it's gonna be like a lawrence taylor s card he's gonna be really really good then guys you have some turkey bull shenanigans you know it's just showing you guys the solos will be updated tomorrow so definitely know that tomorrow if you guys want to go ahead and play some more solos get some more stars you're aiming towards any of these rewards this is how you're gonna do it right they're gonna be updated tomorrow see here like i believe you can get up to like 100 and some stars tomorrow you're not gonna be all the way to, i don't think up to tier eight yet but you're gonna start getting up there or at least you were already at a you're already at close to tier six so maybe you can get up past tier eight now we got you know the battle of the birds just some stuff gonna be updated tomorrow more harvest collectibles can be obtained so if you've been collecting those for some free stuff we got some more daily fixings make sure you are playing that they expire on 11 25 so you want to collect your free daily players go ahead and do that and then we have guys a new house rules final drive now this is going to take 100 wins apparently for the max reward which kind of sucks that's a lot of wins and if they don't count towards your you know your season progression that kind of sucks but the beauty of this is it's the final drive so pretty much there's no there's no spot there's, there's no offense and defense like you're not gonna go back and forth someone starts an offense someone starts in defense and you're gonna finish on those pr respective sides and what i mean by that is this it's pretty much Whoever starts an offense has to score a touchdown or they lose. If you're in defense, you have to stop or you lose. Now, defense actually may be easier. Um, there could be a very quick way to end this. You just come in there and just play quick. I mean, you got to score a touchdown to, to win. So pretty much if you got a turnover on downs, defense wins. You throw a pick, defense wins. You throw a fumble. I mean, you, you fumble, defense wins. You kick a field goal, defense wins. You run out of bounds at the one, defense wins, right? I mean, it, it's going to be, it's not going to be, it's not going to be long games unless someone really just grinds out an entire drive. And then defensively, I mean, on offense, if you could just score a touchdown, you know, one play beater, like you win. It's going to be a pretty quick house rules, but 100 wins is still pretty absurd. If you're not that great at the game, you know, you could easily be winning, you know, for every 10 games you play, if you only win five games, it could take quite a while. I mean, that would pretty much mean that you have to play 200 games to win 100. I, I don't know if it's worth it, guys. It's going to be a long grind, guys. I really don't know. But guys, about it for the video, uh, about the Bo Jackson stuff, pretty much it's going to be like an 85 overall Bo Jackson, and they're going to be one for blitz, you know, Bo knows blitz. There's going to be some stuff going on there in terms of it's like you're going to be getting these 85 overalls. They're going to be dropping like a weekly, apparently, where you can get they're, they're probably going to be different positions. Now, I wonder if you collect all the bows, can you put them all together into a set to make like a big bow or something? That's what I'm wondering. But I don't know if they'd give us a top tier bow. Maybe they go into zero chill with this. Uh, this we, need, we need that to be more explained. Hopefully, they will explain it in a, in a near stream. But it's better for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn the noti bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. And of course, you guys want to check out Underdog Fantasy to get your free 100 bucks on your first deposit. You make sure you use my code and link down below. If you guys need coins, you guys know what to do. Link also down below. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.